I'm not a toilet paper hoarder. I'm not a toilet paper hoarder. I can't say that three times fast. You start off like those people are crazy for buying up all that toilet paper. Now we're actually running out of toilet paper because everybody's buying it up. So then you turn into one of the people that buys all the toilet paper just because you have to make sure that you actually have toilet paper. I actually was on a hunt for toilet paper. Have you found any toilet paper yet? And then when you finally find it, you gotta get like loads of it. I have like 40 rolls of toilet paper. You know that you love eggs, especially because you've been doing your little keto thing. You go to the market and realize, oh snaps, there's no more eggs. I gotta get five cartons of eggs, I gotta get ten things of sausages, three bags of almond flour, three gallons of almond milk. Oh, it makes my neck itch. This toilet paper thing has gone crazy and I figured I'm gonna make a cake of it. It's funny because I had actually wanted to make a toilet paper cake last year. But boy oh boy am I glad that I waited. You want to make somebody mad? Unroll some toilet paper and just like leave it outside. We're going to make a delicious roll of fresh toilet paper made with homemade cake. I'm going to do a little peanut butter frosting filling situation just because I didn't know what else to do and I figured that that was slightly different from what I usually do. And yes, the cake is behind me. <laughs> I want to say guess which one, but it's pretty obvious that it's going to be the one on the cake stand. Or is it? If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification bell, and let's get started. Alright you guys, here's my cake. It is a simple vanilla cake. This is a 5 inch cake. Not a 4 inch, not a 6 inch. Now you may be saying, how in the world did I get a 5 inch cake? In the last video, I mentioned that I took the pot that came with my mini rice cooker and turned it into my new favorite cake pan. It is five inches, and that is exactly about the size of a toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna do three hefty thick layers of that to get the height that I want. I took about two tablespoons to three tablespoons of peanut butter and I mixed it with about three quarter cups of frosting to make the most simple delicious peanut butter frosting ever. A little bit difficult to spread but you know once you get it on there it's amazing. Someone commented when you do a toilet paper cake don't do chocolate cake. That's completely up to you. Do whatever flavor that you would like. So I'm gonna stack everything together and actually put another one of those cake boards right on top of the cake so that I can make sure that everything was completely even. So I'm just gonna carve and trim around the cake. You are going to need two of the cardboard inserts from toilet paper. You can get away with one. I'm gonna use the first one to actually push down into the center of the cake and then pull up whatever cake comes up with it. Oh my goodness, the freezer section in the markets. Like I literally just bought a bunch of fresh produce and I cut stuff up and I put it in the freezer. Is this the same song? I go down certain cleaning aisles and frozen food section aisles and I hear an echo. I'm like, ma, this thing is empty. empty. <laughs> it's just crazy. Next, we are going to give the cake a crumb coat. That is basically just a very thin layer of frosting and I'm using a regular vanilla frosting for this. You're going to want to get the outside of the cake as well as the inside. It's a little bit awkward, you know, because it is kind of small. I just had to pick that bad boy up and say, look, we're going to get smooth today. So after that crumb coat, I put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And then I went on with a thicker coat of frosting. Make sure it's nice and smooth while you're at it. We want these edges to be as sharp as we can possibly make them. See the precision? Just it's like a it's like a fine haircut where you just gotta get those edges just right. And once you get that coat of frosting on, go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to cover my cake in white fondant, and as you can see, I'm actually sitting the cake on a cup. 
and that's so that I can smooth out the sides and trim it properly without messing anything up. I had some stiff frosting going on but that's okay because we're gonna make it work. If I walk down the street like this how much do you want to bet that somebody would try to snatch my roll of toilet paper from off of my head? I'm trimming away that extra fondant and then I'm going to use a fondant smoother to smooth everything out. And you're going to notice that I left a big gap open and that's just because my fondant that I rolled out wasn't quite large enough. But I decided to leave that space open so that I can make my piece of toilet tissue that's kind of unraveling from the roll. Now we need to of course make it look like it's like what, 500 at least layers of tissue. So I'm going to put my cake on top of my cake turner and then turn while indenting the fondant with my little spatula. Try not to go too deep because you can easily go deep in there and slice that cake. After I put the fondant over the cake, I put a fresh new toilet paper insert right back into the center of the cake. I just pushed it on down. We had to really focus in on the toilet paper situation because although it's TP, it's still very serious to me. Toilet paper is pretty quilted, like this one has little rose designs. Definitely double ply. I love some good double ply toilet tissue. Ooh, ASMR, shall we? <laughs> Where I came up with double ply, I'll never know. I do believe that it's called two ply. <laughs> you can at this point take any type of cookie cutter, fondant cutter, fondant impressor, and just indent your fondant. They can be hearts, they can be butterflies, they can be flowers, anything. All you need to do is just make a bunch of those impressions all throughout the toilet paper roll and then go in with either a toothpick or this little fondant tool and make little quilted dots in each of the pattern. And that is what brings this toilet paper to life. If you never thought that toilet paper could be brought to life, I'm here to tell you that that is wrong. We're going to take another piece of white fondant. This is the same height as the cake. And I am going to do the exact same thing on this piece of fondant that I did onto the cake. Put my impressions on there. Each toilet tissue is like a square. I actually made a little indent down the middle of that and then more of those little pricks so that it looks like you could just rip it away. I'm going to use water to stick that onto the cake and I'm going to fold over a little flap of that fondant. This is how you cover that seal. You take some fondant paste, that's what I call it, I guess, you know, I guess that's what it's called. It's basically water and fondant until it forms this thick, almost like a thicker royal icing consistency. And you can use that to seal up any cracks, any folds or tears within your fondant. So that is how you make a toilet tissue cake. I had this in the fridge and every time I opened up the fridge, I was like, what in the world is a roll of toilet paper doing in the refrigerator? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stock up on your TP. <laughs> Couture and a toilet paper cake. Bye guys. My mom actually threw away my toilet paper insert roll thing, the cardboard piece in the center. So I had to like take 30 minutes to unroll a piece of toilet paper. And it just, taking that time to make my fondant dry out. So my fondant was really crackly. Like, you know, we're just out here doing the best that we can. Why am I pulling off something right now? I need a bobby pin. 
We're doing the best that we can. What are you guys doing to keep busy? I feel like I can't do enough, even if it's just sitting and getting through that round of um, cooking crazy. I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Toilet paper choker, that's not bad. Comment down below what you thought of it. Let me know how much toilet paper you have. The cake needs to comment for today. It's gonna go to KK Landers, who was actually my baby sister. KK says, because I don't, I don't know which comment I'm gonna choose yet. I love you so much, baby sister. She's absolutely adorable. You're amazing. That's one thing about this whole quarantine. I'm getting so much closer to certain family and friends that I haven't talked to in a while. Now you don't have an excuse. We have time. I found out that my job is still open and they want me to come back to work next week. <laughs> you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Kegnesis.